Ew. Okay. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm Levin Garbage. This is my eighth watch of Paranormal Activity 4. Introduce yourself. I'm Kate Devereaux. This is my first watching of Paranormal Activity 4. Yay. Could you even call it a movie? I mean, there's no like... It is a, an image on a screen. And things do move sometimes. But, um... It wasn't a whole lot of movies. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard to call it a movie. Because you're right, nothing really happens. People do this a lot. Interestingly, I had I, I saw Paranormal Activity one, mm -hmm. and I thought they couldn't make a worse movie, wow. and I am impressed. Nice. I am. Uh, yeah. I am surprised and impressed. Um, how, how are you doing through most of the movie? I mean, were you just like bored or? I was mostly amused by Mike's mom. That's true. Being yeah. really into it. Yeah, um, that that was very entertaining. I have to say. <laughs> She it really was, brought the mood up a little bit for me. Yeah, because she was like actually enjoying it. Yeah. Um, and that made me enjoy it. Exactly. Because I'm like, oh, that, you know what? If I see it through a little bit of that perspective, then yeah, it's yeah. kind of fun. Is the point of this just to show a house where there's like paranormal activity in it? Because it's like the, the, the flimsiest of it plots. It would be a great advertisement for that house. Yeah, that's it true. It was a beautiful house. It was a beautiful house. I really like the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I also really like the tub. I mean, it's all right. I would change almost everything yes. about I it. I would change the style of it, but and I do like the space and I do like the size yeah. of the kitchen. That's true. My favorite scene in the extended version <laughs> is a scene where Alex, the main character, mm -hmm. uh, she goes downstairs, a book falls, she puts the book back, the book falls again, and then she puts it back and leaves. Which means nothing happens in that scene. Exactly. Because it starts and ends the same way. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? Uh, uh, I'll just sing along. Who is Alex? She, her last name is Nelson. She is a girl and she also plays the guitar in the movie. She does? Yeah, and scene. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, one that's scene. That's right. <laughs> there was one scene. Didn't add much. No. And that's it. Uh, this time, while I was watching, um, I came up with the theory that in the scene where the chandelier falls, mm -hmm. that actually killed her. But we didn't see that. And it was supported. We don't see her very much after We don't that. see her too much afterwards, and her parents don't really acknowledge her too much. Yeah, but they would totally acknowledge the fact that they found her dead body. It's true. But we don't see that because she's like in a ghost perspective then. So it's like the, the sixth sense where it's like we see what she wants to see. I don't see. buy it. I'm not asking you to buy it. I'm asking you to accept that this is vaguely possible. No. Something else could be going on here. You could sixth sense it and say that they're all dead from the beginning. Oh, that'd be nice. What happens when he gets pulled under the water? for a really long time and then comes back up. Is so, he dead? No. Or is he just dazed and brain cells are dead? I believe that's the part when he gets possessed. Because the scene after that, he lifts her off the bed and okay. then he starts referring to himself as Hunter. All right. Yeah. Was he Hunter from the beginning? Yes, that's another thing that's just weird. So he <sighs> is not mentioned to have been adopted until later in the movie. Until later in the movie. Um, which yeah. I understand is kind of the point of it not being a narrative. Yeah. Um, so is he... Bear with me. Please. It's a Katie, whatever she is. By the way, I'm Kate. Um. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you're also Catherine. Yeah. Who is Catherine Noon, plays Alex in the film. Uh, except it's spelled different. It's spelled with a Y. There's no E on the end. Y. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Katie wants this baby that her sister had. That's it. That's her nephew, I believe. Cool. She keeps saying it's Aunt Katie. It's Aunt Katie. That's true. So I think that she's jealous of this baby, and then whatever witchy shit she got into, because what she said? I don't know. Um, okay. uh, now I've lost track. <laughs> no, uh, witchy stuff. She witchy got stuff into. she got into. She's got kind of like carried away with it. She figures the only way she's going to get this baby is if she lets Satan into her heart. Oh, good old blah, Satan. Blah, 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 blah. Rosemary's baby goes on. Mm -hmm. 
then she uses her satanic powers to steal this baby. She can't take care of the baby because she has no resources and now she's satanic. She accidentally kills this baby, hmm. kills herself, Okay. ends up the two of them souls haunting around, bodies, stuff, find other host bodies, and sure. then that baby's host body, that they, which is Robbie, yeah. is running out because the demon baby body is going to exhaust this baby. Well, in the first one, there's just a giant demon man. Like, yeah. he, he's not, like, possessing anybody. His name's Toby. They mention him here. Really? Yeah. Oh. They, they mention him here in one scene where they shouldn't mention him, because he is... They, they never... Never mind. Whatever. What point the... When, um, when Ben goes to... The kids are playing Connect, mm -hmm. and he goes up there and he says, So that's Toby, isn't it? And it makes no sense, because they never talked about Toby before. I don't know why, why would they, they mention know him. Toby well, because Robbie should know Toby. That's his imaginary friend. Oh. It's the demon thing. No, they had talked about... They had talked about... They talked about, about it, but they never friend. mentioned it by name. Okay. Yeah. So is this imaginary friend supposed to be the first demon from the first movie? I suppose so, just by going by the name. That's a scary-ass motherfucker than an imaginary friend. Yeah. He's like 12 well, I mean, feet tall. Is he that scary? He kind of just moves chairs around. No, I mean, when you see him in the first one. Oh, you actually see him? Yeah, you oh see him. Oh my god. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see something. So, um, that was actually, I, I recently saw the trailer for Paranormal Activity 5. Oh, there won't be another six. one? It's Paranormal Activity The Ghost Dimension. Oh, good lord. I know, right? So, um... But I was so excited because I was watching it and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, there are like things in it. Like, I'm sure the trailer will, will is just for a terrible movie, but I did see like shadows really? and they looked like things happening. The only, I'm sure that the only scenes that actually have something happening in them the, are in the already trailer. in the trailer. Yeah, the favorite moment, the dolphin fin, bug eyes, Cormac McCarthy's The Road. That's already taken. Damn it. After uh, they installed all the cameras in the house, uh, the dad is watching TV, and there's a Wilhelm scream on the TV. Mm. Yeah, and that's nice. That was fun. I liked when the little boy was on the uh, big wheel, oh. because I saw that as a Shining reference. I saw that as a blatant Shining ripoff. That yeah, was... I, I tried to give the movie a little bit more credit okay. and say it was an homage. Fair enough. It's a pretty sucky homage. Oh yeah. The dialogue was really um, what? lacking. What dialogue? <laughs> well, I, I told you about the, the what is this scene. Yes. It all feels like bad what improv. What is that? 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 Maybe if we ask each other, we'll understand. Whoever edited this, this totally real footage. Oh, yeah. Um, did it really sh A lot of these, like, jump scares for me were almost like waking up moments where I'm just like dazing off slowly and then a sound happens like all right I'm back to this movie it's like a jolt back into reality Which let's read it out of the Tim Burton movies all right I haven't seen all those either well that's fine so I'm gonna give it one dark shadows because um it wasn't all that great it was kind of later in his career when he was kind of like going through the motions where he kind of got Johnny Depp and made these scenes and all just kind of went. He didn't have to put too much effort into it. And the plot was about him like getting a fishing village back. So it wasn't all that interesting. And to compare to that and also rate it on that. So what you're saying is he didn't like Dark Shadows. Um, I was gonna rate it a Willy Wonka's cho Chocolate Factory because I wish I hadn't seen it. To get the name right, oh. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In my house, mm -hmm. if I walk around two days in a row, some things are going to have moved. Not yeah. everything, but there are three people living here, and there's yeah. going to be some things that have moved slightly. This movie had none of that. No. The stuff on the fridge was always in the exact same position. The stuff on the counter was always in the exact same position, and there were always the exact same number of wine bottles. Yeah. Even though at one point you see one of them drink yeah, wine. Yeah, mom does drink wine. But there are no missing wine bottles. Whose name is Alexandra Lee. I like Christopher Lee. I like Christopher Lee too. I didn't it's like him in that though. I know it is. Yeah. He's been in a lot of bad movies. He's just a good actor. 
It's been a lot of good movies. A good, lot of good movies too. But yeah. when you when you have a pr- prolific career, yeah. <laughs> you end up in a lot of shitty stuff no, and a lot of good stuff. Exactly okay. true. A lot of people have died this year. That's true. Yeah. Like. Christopher Lee. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good ending. <laughs> <laughs>